Hey everyone, Sean Frangella here for motiontutorials.net with a new Element 3D tutorial about how to create this 3D write-on effect by combining Element 3D with the new Saber plugin. So if you happen to catch my last tutorial, it was about how to link up Element 3D with Saber and get everything to line up and work together like we see here. And for this new one, I wanted to take that a bit further and talk about how we could use Saber to reveal 3D text and have everything line up. So if we scrub through this here, we can see it's not only these lines of the Saber plugin animating, but as they go, they're actually revealing the outlines of the 3D text at the same time. So we're pushing it a bit further than the last one and really getting into some cool animation with combining these two plugins. So let's get started with this. I'll make a new composition and I'll just call this Saber text. And then I'm gonna get my text tool and I'm gonna write the word Saber. And I wanna take that and grab my align window and quickly snap that to the center of both horizontal and vertical. Now, first I'm gonna add a new solid for our Saber effect. So I'll get a new solid and I'll call this Saber effect just so we can keep track of it because we're gonna have a bunch of things all named Saber. And then in my effects and presets, I'm gonna get Saber, drop that on. It's gonna make a lightsaber. That's not what we want for this. What we wanna do is go to customize core and change our core type from saber to text layer. And then we can change text layer from none to that saber word. And that's why I wanna name it a bit to keep it straight. And that'll outline our text with our saber effect. Now we can grab another one of these presets to kind of build out a different look of this. And I like this replicant one, this kind of pinkish purple one for this effect. So if we just play through this quickly, we can see it's around our text and it's gonna be animating on its own a little bit. What we wanna do is under Customize Core, animate our end offset, and you can see it'll animate from off to on. So I'm just gonna make a keyframe at two seconds where it's at 100% and then just back this up to the beginning and take it down to zero and then it will animate on and we're gonna write in. And if I want these lines to be a little softer on the edge as it's coming, I can up the core softness a bit. That'll blur the edges a bit, which will be helpful as it's writing on. So, so far we just have this quick little animation with it writing it on. Now what we wanna do is really push this further and have this right on 3D text and kind of have it all animating at the same time. So let's get that 3D text. What I'm gonna do is make another new solid and I'll call this E3D and just change the colors so I can keep track of all this stuff. And then I'm gonna to go to effects and presets and get element for element 3D. And now I wanna create some text. So what I wanna do is go to custom layers, custom text and mass and go to path one and get that same original Saber word. And then I'm gonna click scene setup and I'm gonna click extrude and that's gonna give us our base object. And I'm just gonna open this and grab that bevel and just make it quite a bit bigger just so we can see our text. And then I'm just gonna change the material color to a black gloss. So it'll be kind of that dark, eerie look. And we just have our default environment. That's fine for now. It's mostly to combine these two things. I'm gonna to go to okay. So there we'll have our Saber text. Now we want everything to line up correctly. So I'm gonna put Saber below the Saber effect. And we can just take the opacity down on that a bit to see how it lines up. It comes pretty close, what we wanna do is make this Saber effect a 3D layer and look from two views. And then I'm gonna grab that Saber effect and pull it to the front. We can see it, then it all exactly line up. So at this point, this is basically the same tutorial I put together for the last one. So you're probably wondering why you're wasting your time watching the same video as I just made. Well, let's really push this a little further now. Let's talk about what we can do to add some tricks to have this all link together and do some crafty text reveal animation. So what we wanna do is duplicate this whole Saber effect layer so we have a copy of it. And then on our Element 3D layer, I'm gonna change the track mat from none to Luma mat. And that's going to reveal our 3D layer and I just need to shut off this original text layer so now we can see that it's actually using the luminance of that Saber effect to write that in. And if I make a camera and put that at the top of my scene just to get it out of the way and orbit around, we can see that this is actually revealing the element 3D layer 
not just showing the saber layer. So it looks like it's just the front. So what we want to do with this saber effect that's used as a track mat that's now shut off right here is we can up the glow intensity and the spread as well as the glow bias. And you can see we're kind of just making it look like this thing is kind of blown out and blurry. But what's really cool about this is that it's actually animating this whole thing. So you can see it's kind of slowly leaking on. So if we quickly took a look at that effect, we can see we're kind of just blurring it and blowing it out quite a bit. And then when we shut that off, that's what's going to be used for our reveal. Now, since this is animating along with this second saber effect, if we turn that back on and change the blending mode to add, we can see if we play this, they're both running and it's going to look like they line up exactly. So as this light is coming on, it's going to look like that luminance is leaking onto our 3D text. Now, if we want to go even further, making this reusable, if I just get my keyframes and press U, we can see both those are animating. And if we don't want to have to worry about two sets of keyframes, one thing we could do is we'll just shut off the end offset animation on the second one. And instead of having keyframes, we'll alt click to add an expression and then pick whip it to this end offset. So then if we make any changes, let's just say we wanted the whole thing to take longer and maybe go over like four seconds, they're going to link together and both line up. So then we could have this really slow one. And if we don't like it, we could just pull that back a bit. And now maybe if we created some quick camera animation, we could have this orbiting around. So it kind of starts over here and we'll just bring that back and we could have it move and swing around. So you can see that it's actually 3d. So you can do some pretty cool stuff to combine element 3d with saber and take advantage of some of the animation properties by using clever little things like the luminance of this track mat and really just blowing everything out and lining up the offsetting of the keyframe so we get this nice looking 3D text reveal animation that's all going on these little lightning bolt lines. And if you thought this was pretty cool and you want to grab these project files, you can get a hold of these if you support the show on motiontutorials.net or if you head over to patreon.com where you can throw in a couple bucks, get access to project files, as well as things like live hangouts for answering questions and more. And be sure to check out motiontutorials.net where I have a fully searchable archive of all of my Element 3D, After Effects, and Cinema 4D tutorials. If you haven't checked that out, be sure to check it out. It's all up there. And as always, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Frangella. And if you have any questions on this or requests for tutorials, you can hit me up on Twitter. I'm at Sean Frangella. As always, thanks for watching. It's always fun to try to come up with some new uses for these 3D plugins and After Effects techniques. So I hope you learned some good quick tips from this one about combining Element 3D with Saber to create some 3D text right on animation. Thanks for watching. I will see you at the next video. Do you like watching these tutorials and want to see more episodes more often? You can help keep the show going by lending your support on Patreon at patreon.com slash seanfrangella. More importantly, if you want to throw in a couple extra bucks, you can get bonus content like project files used in the tutorials, answers to direct questions, live hangouts for questions, and even request specific tutorial topics for me to use for my next video. Also be sure to subscribe to the show by clicking the subscribe button or visiting the show homepage at youtube.com slash seanfrangella. And if you're hip with social media and have a question about this tutorial, you can find me on Twitter at seanfrangella. As always, thanks for watching and I will see See you at the next video.